We're going to start our weaving with some twining and tabby stitch. We already have our loom warped, that's the threads going up and down are the warp threads and there's a different video to show you how to do that. Now I've got a piece of cardboard here that's about four or five centimeters high and I'm going to weave that through on the loom down the bottom. The starting and finishing threads from the warp threads, those knots are down the bottom of the loom. And now I'm measuring out how much yarn I need for these first few rows. So this yarn is about eight or nine times the width of the loom, but actually six times would have done. Now I'm threading it into a large plastic wool needle. You can't just poke a fat piece of yarn through a needle. It won't go very easily. So let's have a look at how to do it. Fold the yarn over the needle, slide it off, squeezing that fold tight and push the fold through the needle. And then it's easy. So I'm going to leave a yarn tail out. I don't tie it off or anything. At the end, I'm going to sew that in to get it out of the way. So to start with, we're just doing plain weave, which is in and out, in and out, in and out, underneath one thread over one, one warped thread. And pull it through, making sure I don't pull through that final tail. Now when I'm doing this, because I don't want the um, yarn to pull tight, whenever I'm doing plain weave, I go up and down a bit like a mountain. And that just means that there's a little bit of extra yarn, just a tiny bit in the length. And then I push it down and I'm just using a comb that was cheap at the supermarket as a tool for doing this. You can also just use a fork if that's what you've got, like a bamboo fork or something. Now, whenever you start the next row, if you've finished by going under, you'll start by going over. So you do the opposite on each thread in every row. So if we're just going to do plain weave, we do the same thing going back, doing the opposite each time. But actually we're going to start with a row of twining stitch. And this helps to lock everything in place. So let's have a close look at this. Instead of going straight across, we still go over and under the same warp threads, but we also go under the yarn that we have just gone across. That yarn is called the weft thread. So we're going to do this the whole way across. So the next warp thread we come to, the first row goes under, so we'll go over. And then we'll go under, but we'll go under the warp thread and under the previous weft thread. So if you're doing just one row of twining stitch you can just use one piece of yarn and you go across doing a plain weave and then back going underneath the row before as you go and that's what we're doing here. The other way that you can do twining stitch is using two pieces of yarn and I'm just cutting this two lengths of the um, loom 
So I've already got the first row done with the long piece of yarn as just a plain weave and we're going to do exactly the same thing as we've just done but starting from the same end. So one piece of yarn follows the other piece of yarn around the loom. So we're still just going underneath each um, piece of yarn from the row before. And when we get to the end of the row, we put down that second piece of yarn and re-thread the first piece of yarn and go back across the loom using a plain weave, which is the first row of the twining stitch. And then if you haven't been using two needles, switch the needle over to the short thread and go back along the row doing the same thing again. And see I'm pulling this so that it's neat but trying to make sure that it doesn't pull too tight which can take a little bit of fiddling sometimes but the twining stitch looks really good and it also helps to lock things into place so that when you take your weaving off the loom later if you started with a row of twining stitch it all stays in position nicely and doesn't start to come loose Now we're moving on to tabby stitch which is actually another name for just plain weave. So for this we're going to continue with our long piece of yarn and we're just going to go in and out, in and out, up and down. The last row ended with the yarn underneath so this row will start with the yarn going over so that each time you're doing the opposite on each warps thread to what has happened in the row before. And you see that I put the yarn up a little bit just to make sure that there's that little bit of extra yarn in each row so that it doesn't pull tight. If it pulls tight, the sides of the weaving will go inwards and it won't look as nice. So I'm watching the whole time to make sure that it doesn't start to push in. We go back the other way and we're just going to speed this up for this last little part of the video. And so we've got four rows of um, weaving there for the start. This won't be seen because we're going to put a fringe on top of it but this just keeps everything in place and is a good way to start your weaving.